Hi, I'm Nikhil Chinappa and welcome to this segment of Let's Talk on Car and Bike. It's going to be an interesting section where I'm going to be answering a bunch of questions. Here we go. Um, when I was in the fourth standard, or maybe it was the third standard, this was about 1982, 83, 84, somewhere around then. Um, back then, India only had ambassadors and Fiat's, and they weren't the prettiest looking of cars. And one of my friends used to get dropped by his dad, who owned a Datsun Bluebird. And at that age, it just looked like the most incredible car in the world because it had a sleek hood. It had a, what I would call a sharp nose. And I wonder why I like sharp noses. I don't know, but the Datsun Bluebird back then was beautiful. In my garage, I've got an Audi Q3, the sports model, and it is sweet. Um, my first car was a second-hand um, Maruti Suzuki Zen. I thought it was a very cute car. What I really liked about that car was that it was one of the original Zens that came to India and it had the original engine from Japan. And eventually, you're not gonna believe this, the car literally disintegrated around me in Mumbai's monsoons, but the engine was still super sweet. Um, car or bike, that's a, that's a, I would probably say car because I like to have company when I'm on, on, on road trips and, um, but I love bikes as well. But if I had to choose between the two of them, probably car. The car is not as important on a road trip as far as I'm concerned as the person. I think the dream road trip would be my wife and my brother. Um, because my brother has a great sense of humor and my wife has just the best taste in music in the whole world. And I think that's what makes for fun road trips, conversations and great music. The most fun road trip that I've done was um, with a couple of friends of mine from Amsterdam to Berlin. We drove down, it was about six hours. And my friend who's in Amsterdam is a huge uh, vinyl record collector and he has an insane collection of disco music from the 70s, early 80s, mid 70s. It was a six hour disco road trip and it was great. And also, once we crossed over into Germany, we got to drive on the Autobahn and over there you can just go Definitely safe. I'm not a, I'm not a big fan of zero to 100 in very few seconds. I, I like a steady drive. Definitely aesthetic. Um, this is one of those places, as an architect, I've always said function before form. It has to work before it looks beautiful. But when it comes to automotive design and performance, I would definitely choose design a little bit more than performance. I'm not saying it doesn't need to perform, but man, it's got to look good. A day with a supercar, for sure. I'm a married man. You want to get me into trouble? What? <laughs> My dream Italian, definitely, hands down, Maserati. There's something about that car. You know, I know a lot of people go on and on about the Ferrari, but there's something about the grill design, their logo, um, and just the way you say it, Maserati. I love it. Of course I know how to change a tire. What do you think I am? I would definitely like to see more electric cars on the road, and I would definitely personally like to drive either an electric or a hybrid. But I don't think I want to live in a world where you phased out petrol engines altogether. I think that would be just a little bit boring. Um, personally, I think I've gone up to, um, again, on Germany's Autobahn, about 230 kilometers an hour. 220, 230 kilometers an hour. Yep, that's the most I've done. I am one of the few people in the world who can claim, truthfully, that I've been taken on a hot lap by Lewis Hamilton, six-time World Formula One champion. Um, Lewis Hamilton came down to India for a sponsor and we were doing some activities with him at a racetrack um, outside Chennai in Sri Paramudur. And MTV was involved in that and I was hosting that event. I got to hang out with Lewis for an entire day, chat with him, do an interview with him. And he took me for a hot lap as well. Yes! Oh, this one, this is an interesting one. It's, um, it's a couple of very interesting name. It's pronounced Huayra. It's the Huayra Pagani. It is a beast of a car. I mean, performance-wise, it is brilliant. It's a supercar. But what I love most about it are its interiors. I'm a big fan of steampunk design. That design palette is something that I've always deeply loved. In fact, some of the music festivals that I've done, I've designed my stages in that steampunk theme. 
and Huayra Paganini's interiors, they look retro, they look steampunk, and I would love to be sitting in that car and driving it. Um, car exhaust noise is 1000% music. Love it. Oh, Tom Petty's Free Falling. That's, that's one song when you're on a road trip that you just have to kind of belt out with your mouth wide open. And I'm free, free fall. As you can tell, I'm one of the world's best singers. Aren't you glad that you don't have to listen to me singing the whole song? Yes, you are. Well, music and drives a bit like underwear and elastic. They, you know, would be pointless one without the other. I mean, the underwear would be pointless without the elastic. Driving would be pointless, not really pointless, but you know, wouldn't be as much fun if there was no music. Neither would underwear without elastic. Balanced, these over based out like music systems in cars, just stupid. Because when, you, when, a, when a person makes a song, that person makes it for all the notes to be heard. And a crystal clear sound system, way nicer, way better than a loud system. And by the way, I never turn my car systems up too loud because I think that's just like, I think I stopped being 16 a few years ago. Go to driving music. Um, it's easy one to say. It's, it's my wife's playlist because she has the best playlist in the whole world. But definitely music from the late 70s, 80s and 90s. Um, some easy listening artists from the late 2000s. Um, yeah, there's quite a few. There's quite a few. And that is it.